Steve Butler is the third umpire today. Slow delivery this time with the off break action. And we've seen some better disguise than that over the years. We talked about Abdul Razak's slow ball, but uh, this one not quite so well concealed. Now, what uh, on earth has happened here? Now, I've hardly ever seen Raul Dravid raise his voice or heard Raul Dravid raise his voice. Something has triggered that. It's just a collision. What well, happens in cricket all the time? And in comes the uh, referee. with his batting methods and they cross it with his words as well. There's fire in the belly, isn't there? This is great. Something happening. It's a good shot. Beautiful cricket shot. To the pitch of the ball. Freddie's given him a mouthful. So how dare you do that to me? Optimistic, extra bit of balance. And he bumps into our Freddie this time. Dalton Gumby. A lot's happening there. getting into the things right away. A bit of a collision between Afridi and Gautam Gandhir. Ian Gould uh, telling Shah Malak that he's got to keep his players under control and won't put up with this. We don't know what was said, but uh, it's stung. what happened now just a matter of collision and aggressive always the umpire having a word with the batsman now slow and well bowled very well bowled no ball though but now what's going on here I don't think uh, NZ's not too happy it's more, something might have been said there just went down the pitch and having a word to the young lad reminding him who's boss I think getting just a little frustrated he pulled a good one came back strongly after being hit for a four and there are a few words to say to in Zamamulak and he was uh, <laughs> threatening to come down and, uh, and the keeper particularly Cameron Akmal against Gautam Gambir there we go and he's convinced something has happened then during the drinks break, words were exchanged. Umpires had to intervene. Donies had to pull Gambier aside. Chat continued. And Billy Bowden has jumped in there and uh, just settled matters. Another left-hander the other night was uh, pretty pumped up. Gotham Gambier once again looking to take on the opposition. He's had few altercations early on in his career. A lot of finger pointing. Billy came between the two. Calm down, young man. Got to battle the end. That's what the Indian captain had been saying to Gautam Gambhir. might see this at Madison Square Gardens pre-fight uh... he came in quickly put his body on the line hit me if you want to and Javed will just make his point now and say hang on a moment son and excuse me Mr. Moray would you mind not talking while I'm facing up and 
not out is the final decision. <laughs> ah, yes, he's never, never stopped. The bleeding elbow. Well, that might be the reason number one. We saw when Yusuf Johanna was running earlier on, he was struggling. There was certainly something wrong with his hamstring. He was hopping, he was limping. And are doing the right thing, calling a runner for himself. Well, you know what a tennis elbow is. Now you've seen a bleeding. Be able to push on. Consolidate the innings. And Pakistan can keep some pressure on here and, and extend this good run. Well, both these batsmen, they are batting intelligently. They know that Shwe Bakhtar has been brought into the attack for just a couple of overs. And they have just lost a wicket. And it's a good reminder for them as well. Very well bowled, 261 for six. A few pleasantries being exchanged between Harbhajan and Shwe Bhaktar. Teams are on fire. Tension taking the better of the players. A little altercation. Or should we say a few pleasantries exchanged between Shwe Bhaktar and Harbhajan Singh. The discussion took place or the language used was uh, Punjabi. And both stood the ground. I wish I could translate uh, what was said. He was so quick in there. Always the drama queen our Billy, don't we love him? It's all about showing courage and determination and giving it giving it back to Shwe Bakhta like Harbhajan did. A lot of Punjabi was spoken. A lot of Bhe and Ma was was changed and exchanged and in the end no real damage done. I think uh, they both realized that at the end of the day End of the over, 199 for five. Let's have a look at here. Throws the ball in, and there's it. Just a line, let you know who's boss, and then do a follow up with one more push. Yeah. Oh, good fun. They want to win this game. Oh, it just kids having fun, and it's he said, Oh, come on, boys. We do this at under 16s. Come on, come on. What's happening there? This two or four. Bowling, bowling stuff from Shah Lang is in the middle right now. And there's a dismissal of Bradshaw. He's hitting across the line. Langerfeld again. Got him, got him. Brilliant stuff from Shah Langerfeld. Two wickets and two balls. West Indies. And it continues. Straight on the stumps. Darren Powell just having a wild swing at that. On a hat trick, just to add something else into the equation. Corey Collymore on strike. And he's got a hat trick, I'm sure. That's out. He's got it. There it is. South Africa have won the match. They've won the series as well. Shah